Yeah, yeah QSL there, uh, uh, Ted. I'm uh, on the southwest coast in Devon. I don't know how well you know the UK, but I'm in the county of Devon. Um, the, the, I don't know if you've ever, ever heard of Torquay. I'm very, very close to Torquay, QSL. QSL, yeah. yeah. I know very well. I live there in a very, very young age, back in that. So well, if there's not much to come back here for, then why, why, why not? Why bother? Did you say you left in 49, 1949, QSL? Oh, but I know that's a long time ago, isn't it? How old were you then, uh, Ted, if you don't mind me asking over? QSL there, yeah. Well, it's a long time ago. I'm surprised you can remember anything. I mean, uh, yeah, seven years old. I mean, you've probably got vague, vague memories of, of England, but um, I would imagine that's not really, uh, it's like basically just coming to a completely foreign country nowadays. Go ahead. Yeah, I'll say it's about afterwards, yeah. That's right, because I'm doing it, and I had worked out. I'll say Uh, uh, Ted, um, he's in New, you're in New South Wales. How far are you from Sydney? Uh, over. How far are you from Sydney? How far are you from Sydney? Over. Uh, but it's uh, grown a lot since you got there, Sydney. I mean, it's really uh, it's a big city now, but I, I would imagine it was uh, fairly you know, well, quite big when you were there, but it's a lot smaller there. But uh, so you, you're up early there, Ted. What's the time at the moment? About four, four o'clock, uh, three or four o'clock in the morning, QSL? Yeah, right. Um, four o'clock in the morning. 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 
Absolutely, absolutely, and I mean, uh, I'm a little bit like you. I think I've got quite a bit of time time on my hands over here, so uh, you know, I uh, do do little, little little bits and pieces. Come on the radio. I don't, I don't spend all day on the radio, you know. I come on for a few hours every day, but um, but yeah, well, we're uh, I think you're sort of heading towards autumn over there now, aren't you? In, in a couple of months' time, we're sort of uh, we're, you know we're not far off spring now, so we're looking uh, we're looking for a nice summer. Because we've had some very very bad summers here in the last few years, there, Ted. So what's your uh, what's your summer been like this year? Go ahead. VK2AU from G0VQY. Well, I, I'll be quite happy with 25 degrees there, uh, Ted. But I suppose that's uh, pretty cool for for uh, a Sydney summer. But I mean, that would be uh, that would be very welcome over here. I mean, we've had um, you know, we've had some pretty poor summers for the last four years here. Um, it's uh, we've had uh, not. I mean, I live on the southwest coast where it's fairly mild. Um, so we haven't we we, we haven't suffered with the winter. But I mean, um, you know, for the last couple of years, there's been quite a lot of snow, and you know, a lot more snow than we normally get to over here in the UK. But uh, I think uh, I think all of the, the the whole world seems to be suffering from from the strange weather. I know talking to the guys over in the states, they've been there saying that you know uh, they've had some of them have ha had hardly any snow. You know, and it's very 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 unusual, especially around the New New York district. They normally get a, a lot of snow around there, but some of them have had. Uh, Absolutely nothing at all, QSL. Yeah, yeah, I Absolutely, yeah. I think it's just one of those things, you know. It's one of those. I don't. I don't think. It's, I'm, I'm not convinced about this. Um, um, the climate, you know, all, all the all the business. Although watching some of the uh, footage of the uh, glaciers disappearing over the years, um, I think it's. I think it must be getting slightly warmer. But whether that's having a huge effect on us, I don't know. But uh, I don't know. It would just be nice to get some decent weather because we have a. You know, you can pretty. You can guarantee a long winter here in the UK, a long winter, 
you know, um, where it's not particularly warm, and it'd just be nice to get just a few weeks of nice sunshine, you know, to warm the old bones, because um, I don't do well in cold weather. I absolutely hate, hate cold weather. It's not something that uh, suits me uh, at all. But uh, there you go there, there you go. So you said you're on the outskirts of Sydney. So how, how far are you from the sea there, Ted? Go. Uh, So, have you got them involved in the radio at all at the Scouts over? Yeah, have you got the Scouts and are they, are they on the radio? Do they use the radio at all out there over? yourself yeah I don't know I don't, I don't think it's you but there's a guy um down your way he's on uh, 40 meters a lot and uh, I know that, that uh, I know he's quite well known for having quite a big uh, 40 meter beam uh, do, do you know what I'm talking about over yeah I'm not sure I thought it might be, I, I, I don't know if it's a five or a seven, but uh, I, 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 I've spoken to him once, because I, I mean, I, I've, got, I've got a pretty loud, rubbishy antenna for 40 metres, it's only a, only a dipole really, so it uh, doesn't really do any good, but um, uh, you, you often hear him on 40 metres, and uh, you know, for, for, for receiving on a wire antenna, he does, you, you know, he's got, he's got a pretty, uh, I think he's got a quad or something. A very big quad, I believe. Um, I could be wrong in saying that, but uh, I just wondered. I mean, Australia is a big country, so that's probably a bit of a stupid question asking if you know him. I mean, I often get asked by people if I know people in Scotland. I mean, uh, I know that uh, the UK is small compared to the uh, the USA, but uh, you know, it's uh, it's quite a long way. Go ahead. <laughs> 